All right, guys. Puebla City, Puebla, Mexico, and the state of Puebla. Never been here specifically. I just found it to be really interesting looking. And almost as if I was in a different city, so I decided to record. Look at that, they got a bunch of broken crap up there. Crazy, 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 crazy. We got some really old roads. <laughs> Oh my god. Whoa. Bless my little heart. Alright. Well we got the police up here. Let's uh let's not be seen recording while passing them. Last thing I need is my phone taken from me. Thank you very much. For sure, for sure. Oh my god, well, this is all I can't get through there. I'm gonna have to walk past them anyways. So I'm just gonna hold this up as if I'm, well, like I always do, but I was just hold it up to my mouth as if I'm, I'm talking to somebody on the phone. So it doesn't look like I'm just recording all up in their face. There you go. Jeez, this almost seems like if they were to fix it up a bit or like some rentals out, this could be pretty popular amongst foreigners or anybody really. Could be a really chill, scenic, freaking little speck of a dot on the map. got character for sure oh I can smell some sewage right there oh, whoop -da. all right um all right let's see here's one way to do it well there's all kinds of ways to do it but we're gonna do it like this I gotta walk like an hour home, but I'm trying to uh, trying to hit some streets where I think that there may be uh, some freaking some barbers at. Mexico doesn't have a whole lot of barbers. Uh -uh. So look, even though it's a one way, you see this lane here? Careful, because sometimes the buses will be coming down it the opposite way. Dust in my face, damn. Okay, let me crawl. Oh, it's flying. Cars don't stop for you in Puebla. They just keep going. Jeez. But the good thing is about the traffic in all of Mexico, even on the highways, you got these freaking speed bumps. Slow you down real quick so nobody can ever get going really fast. Oh, a Home Depot truck. Poster. Hey, that's a freaking cool little neighborhood. I don't know if it's an extension of where I came from because I had to cross that little busy roadway there, but hey, look at what we got. All these nice things. Some, in, some indigenous looking food. With a hint of Spanish influence. Uh, 
and I'll eat, but only if I could find some hand sanitizer because I had my hands in some uh, some like pond water, some lake water. And I hate to say it, but Mexico's uh, hygiene isn't up to par with uh, America. No. Soap in the restrooms. No sinks to wash your hands in restaurants. Sometimes there's hand sanitizer available, but other times, not at all. Alright. Then you got you got wires like this. I don't know if they can shock you or not. Jesus Christ, when he says pass. Hey, the first hospital I've seen that doesn't have a line of people standing outside waiting to get in. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. There we go. We're on 4th Street North. Yeah, those buses like that <laughs> cost about what I've seen all of them cost seven pesos and they bring you to wherever it says on the windshield you just wave them down another one. Looks like there's about to be one right there. Mm -mm -mm. Boy, does it smell like a fish market right here. Oops. Uh, disgusting. Here they go. They're coming. I gotta get me up. Thank you. Thank you. Come again. 70. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. See. one barber shot but there's one lady in there with a guy in the seat so I'm not gonna sit and wait <sighs> it's nice out today guys thank you That guy had a backpack full of face masks he was selling. Vaccinated and face masked up. <laughs> Crazy. Pay after or pay after a boarding. Cool. Okay. I got it. I got a sneeze.
Yeah, it's pretty chill, guys. It's pretty chill. This is your vibe. Come on over to Puebla. Rent's cheap. Food is, eh. It's not as cheap as Mexico City. And the taxis, they're about twice, if not sometimes three times as much as they are in Mexico City. So. You can save. Depends on where you're located and where you need to go and how you choose to get there. Let this guy turn. Wow, he actually has his blinker on. Thank you, thank you. Oh, holy crap. Alright. There's a perfume and clone shop. Huh. Buildings could definitely use some work. Pretty cool. I just What is that? That's how they're advertising their gas, selling propane. That's crazy. I'm sure glad they don't have a lot of people with those microphones. Those, yeah, those microphones out there, ultra voices or whatever you call them, screaming, trying to sell stuff. Colombia, Medellin specifically, that was the worst city I've ever been to. God, I can't stress how much I hate that place. How much I hate the whole country. Just whack. Where are we at for time on this? 13 minutes of me just rambling on. Shit. Let's just keep it going, why don't we? If you're watching it this far, I'm sure you'll watch it some more, so. Uh, what do we got here? I know my videos ain't that, aren't that um, entertaining, but they can be informative in there, nonetheless. Here we go. Huh. Look at this guy. Slipped in the whole freaking cab up to get to his whatever he's doing. Oh, Cortez. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to a, a barber shop and try to get a, a male haircut here. They'll probably charge like double or triple.
trying to keep my budget under $500 for the next four weeks of uh, staying here in Mexico, so. Pinch a penny where I can, huh? Save where I can. All right. Let's go. Quieres ver Fifi? Hmm. I know the term Fifi, but it, uh. Huh. Huh. Well, it's a term used in English by, uh, <laughs> for people in prison and jail, but. <laughs> not even gonna go there. Alright. Now I think we're walking up on maybe the, the Zocalo. I don't know, I could be wrong. So guys. Gotta stay dehydrated or rehydrated. Lose a lot of lose a lot of moisture out here, you don't even realize it because it's such a dry heat. Yep. Well, that's 4th Street. Here's Pala Fox and Mendoza Street. Alright. Pretty freaking big, huh? What do we got here? This three is just. Hmm. Puebla Mutila. Puebla mutilates your trees and destroys the green areas. Mm. I, I don't see where they're cutting down the trees at, but... Uh, ironically, that sign is being hung up on trees. Mm. Okay. That's weird. Well, wow. isn't that romant romantic? <sighs> anyway, a university. Ah, uh, Atoma de Puebla. I don't know what Atoma means, but autonomy maybe? Autonomy? I don't know. <sighs> yeah. Okay, whatever. Not sure what that is. I'm not sure whether there's a pile of sticks there either. A pair of shoes up there. A pair of shoes that don't even have laces that somehow are strung up there with the strings. Crazy. Alright guys, well, I gotta get my bearings about me, so, toodaloo!